This is a health warning. Right now, many of our children and young males and females in our community are getting rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease. This is serious. Rheumatic fever can damage our heart. Watch out for children and young males and females with painful joints like ankle, knees, hip or elbow, wrist or shoulder, and fever, feeling cold and shivering, but when you feel their forehead, they feel very hot to touch. Bring these children and young males and females to the clinic so we can give them medicine. This medicine will stop this sickness and prevent heart damage. What causes rheumatic fever? Rheumatic fever starts with a sore throat and sometimes with sores on our skin. One germ called strep lives in the throat and in skin sores. When you see pus in skin sores, it means that strep germs are camping there. They have found a good camping place and are growing and multiplying there. Or if we have a sore throat with pus, the same germ is living there. These strep germs get inside our children's body and damage their heart. Penicillin medicine kills these strep germs and keeps your heart good. For people who already have rheumatic fever, they need a penicillin needle every three or four weeks. This medicine will stop rheumatic heart coming back. The medicine only stays in our body for three weeks. It goes all around our body and protects us from the strep germ. After three weeks, the medicine is used up. Then we need to give another injection. People with rheumatic fever need penicillin in their body all the time to kill any strep germs. We can protect their heart by giving this injection. So to prevent rheumatic heart, wash your hands. Keep the house clean. If you've got sores, get treatment for sores. If you've got sore throat, get treatment for sore throat. So the strep germs don't come back again. Keep the strep germs away.